Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're finally doing a wig video. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my simple, cheap, synthetic wigs look natural. And by natural, I mean decent because I'm not saying that they look completely 100% natural all the time. But I get a lot of questions about how I apply my wigs and how to make them look more natural. I just went ahead and went online and bought this like $30 wig. I'll leave the info down below. It's just like, you know, standard beauty supply store type of wig. So I'm just going to show you how to cut the lace, how to make the parting look a little better, make some baby hairs, and we're going to throw it on. So I didn't bother doing my hair today because I'm going to put a wig cap on anyway, so I didn't do anything with it. It's just you know all right let's get on into it first things first what you're going to need you are definitely going to need scissors i recommend a pair of little scissors like more precise little ones that you use for nails and use for your eyebrows you know like little scissors i also definitely recommend having tweezers you're going to need concealer and what else do i have down there oh gel and either a spoolie or a toothbrush or whatever you like to use to get finesse your baby hairs a little bit because obviously I don't have any hairs right now. First things first, this is how the wig is going to look when you purchase it. So it's gonna have lace all around the front. It just depends on what kind of wig you buy, but just the standard, like, you know, inexpensive wigs are pretty much gonna look like this. They don't have a full frontal where you have lace all around the front. They're just gonna have lace right around, like ear to ear length and right down the center. So if you can see that, that's where your lace is. Just so I'm gonna show you guys really quick, I will go ahead and cut the lace first. And I'm just gonna take some regular scissors. I was gonna use hair cutting scissors, but I couldn't find my hair cutting scissors. And it's too late to go to the store right now, so. Just leaving a tiny, tiny bit of lace in front of the hairs. Done. The next most important part is going to be the part. So that was interesting that I said that. So as you can see, hopefully, you can see all the lace, you can see all the knots, and obviously you can't bleach them because it's synthetic, so you have to pluck them out. And it's very thin, the part's very thin. You know, our hair parting doesn't look like that. Mine doesn't, at least especially, but I mean, well, I don't really have any hair right now. Yeah, so we're gonna wanna make it look like a natural party. This is where the tweezers come in. You can use tweezers if you'd like. When I do the part, I usually like to use my hands and just grab little hairs that I see and pull them, but you sometimes do need to go in with the tweezers. What you also don't wanna do is pluck too much out of the part because on the sides are where the little tracks lay. Like, I don't know if you can see, but if you can see that, that's not gonna look good. And you can mess that up easily and you cannot go back. You can't re-glue hairs on top. So you definitely do not wanna pluck too far in the party. So here's gonna be the end product of what the part looks like. Much better much thicker than it was before. It was like whoo, tight. After you get done with the part, the next thing is going to be the baby hairs. All this in the front right here is a mess. If you left it like this, it just would be a no. Let me show you really quick without trying to mess up my hair too bad. So like, it's just really harsh. This part you could do on yourself, you could do it on a little mannequin head, you could do it on a styrofoam head, which I actually have, or you could just do it freehand. So normally I just do it freehand because that's just what I like to do. I don't know. I ended up whipping out the mannequin head anyways, you guys. It's just easier to film this way, but you don't need it. This is what we're working on and you're just gonna wanna start by sectioning off where you're going to want to start plucking. So I just take a whole chunk of hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it to the side here. 
So it's out of our way. ASMR wig video. Not a bad idea. We're thinning out the hair a lot on this side. If you were to look at this side, it's a big difference. It's very full, very, very thick. And this side is a lot more thin and that's what we're gonna make our baby hairs out of. We're gonna want them very thin. So you do not want, I've made this mistake before you guys. You do not want thick, thick adult hairs. You just want little skinny baby hairs, just tiny little ones that peek out, okay? Now that I've got the little hairs right here in the front, very, very thin, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them. I just like to take my little teensy scissors right here. We've got the baby hairs done. You can see like the little hairs right here on the sides. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera just cause it'll be easier and faster. But you get the idea of what you'd wanna do right here. And I will be right back. We'll be right back. So our little honey is all done-y. Sorry for that. <laughs> I like to put my concealer underneath the lace. I like to take a little brush and paint the entire lace so it has the concealer underneath. The reason why I like to do it that way is because I feel like you can see when you put concealer on the top, I feel like you can see that there's concealer on your hair. I like to take a concealer that's lighter than my skin tone. That way it gives the same color as the scalp because your scalp doesn't see the light of day. We're just going to Picasso it up and um, paint right where you see the line here. And now she's all concealed up and it's actually time to finally put our wig on. Things first, even before we put this on, you gotta grab your wig cap. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. Since I don't really have hair, it doesn't matter that I have to lay it down or anything like that. Like it's already, it's already slick. The reason why I like to push it forward and then pull it back is because it pulls all my hair back and it uh, gives me a little facelift too. So I'm not complaining. This particular wig, it has three clips. So, so two clips where the hairline is in the front, right next to the part, and then one clip in the back. Go ahead and get this pop in. I like to start back to front. This wig and most wigs are meant to be a middle part. I do not like myself in a middle part. I just, it's just not me. It's just not my style. I like a side part. So we're just going to maneuver her a little bit. Once you have the placement that you like, just go ahead and tuck the clip in underneath the wig cap on the side. This is why I like to wear wig caps. Some people don't wear wig caps. I have to wear wig caps because like, I need the clips to stay onto something. I've got my handy dandy little mirror here and you're gonna need your scissors. You can use your little scissors or your big scissors. If you have hair cutting scissors, use the big ones. I just don't right now, so I'm gonna use the little ones. And I like to cut right along the face. So we're just gonna cut tiny little layers, nothing crazy. Why am I like this? I'm all out of powder, so we're doing exactly what I said I didn't want to do, which is use concealer on the top. It's all good, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Before we actually go in with the concealer though, it is time to slay our baby hairs. Normally I like to use a little spoolie, kind of like an eyebrow spoolie, well not kind of, it is an eyebrow spoolie, um, but I just feel like it's so much more tiny, precise. A lot of people like Gorilla Snot, aka every middle school boy's gel ever but this one is from Redken. it's just one that i got during the face awards and yes i still have it all this time because i don't have to use that much i just use like a little a little boop like that'll take you forever this is the short sculpt it is seriously glue
better. The negative about this gel though is that it does leave little white flakes if you like mess with it too much. Baby hairs are all said and done. Like I said, normally we'd use powder, but we don't have it. So I'm gonna go back in with the concealer and a very teensy brush. But I'm just gonna go in right above where those baby hairs are. And it's just going to make it look like it's a thinner hairline, which is good. And we're gonna wanna try to cover up those little black knots as well. And then especially for a wavy wig like this, you can take some hair foam or just some simple styling product to make it look like it's something that you styled on your own. Just trying to make this look like something I would have, you know, styled at home, something simple. All right, you guys, so this is feeling like a finished product right now. Um, if you actually do realize that you plucked a little bit too much of your hairline, you know, it happens to the best of us, okay? If you do realize that you did that, you can also use like a little eyebrow brush like this with some dark eyeshadow and just take it a little bit in. Um, that way it'll just bring everything a little bit closer together so it doesn't look too too distant. All right, you guys, so that is it. We are done. I'm feeling her so much, you guys. Like, I really am loving her. Also, I wanted to say, definitely do not do what I did when it comes to plucking in the center. Normally, I like to leave baby hairs all around the front, not pluck any part that is just empty because then you just have lace exposed. But if you leave a couple baby hairs right in the front, it'll just swoop right over the lace and it just is a game changer, like a game changer the lace will be a lot less visible. Obviously, lace is not gonna be completely invisible. It's still going to exist. I mean, the technology is probably there, but it's not in my budget, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I am by no means an expert. I am just a regular girl that likes to wear wigs sometimes. It doesn't really have that much hair, so it's not really a flippable wig, but she's cute, so I don't care. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have any other questions. I will gladly answer anything that you want to know. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm always learning myself as well. But if you do have any questions, I am glad to help you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.